may be just bundles of mischief now, but they're only at the beginning of the long, long tale. Hello, who's the big lady? Oh, it's only Mum. Don't talk with your mouth full, will it? Well, that's enough of that. They do everything in a big way at the Ubera Kennels at Godston. And mealtimes are a big occasion. With about 40 outsized dogs to fill, you can imagine there's some little excitement when they drop in to dine. Or should we say, date. And some even put up a paw for a second helping of tasty meat and biscuit. Appropriate to his size, the dog has a large thirst. But we've never heard of a Dane taking to Wayne, which perhaps is just as weird. In spite of his name, the Great Dane is of good British stock, and he's been bred in this country for over 200 years. He's intelligent and strong, and at one time was trained to pull small carts. The shoulders are long and sloping, and the chest deep, and the skull should be flat and moderately narrow. The dogs stand about 30 inches, just the height of a pretty little girl called Sally, when she's good. but she believes in being firm with her charges. An even taller dog is the Irish Wolfhound, and though he possesses great courage, he has a gentle and affectionate disposition. He's more slender than the Great Dane, but more sturdy than the Greyhound, and has straight rough hair with conspicuous eyebrows and beard. Breeding large lumps of dog is a fascinating business. After all, you can see what you're getting for your money. 